Hey guys, this is Dennis from Mumbai, and uh, yeah, I know it's been a long time since I made a video last time. Uh, almost a month, probably over a month, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, excuse me for that, I've been trying to sort out my audio issues. I had a really, really shitty mic before. I believe those were AirPods from Apple, yeah, they weren't included with the iPhones. Uh, it's better now, it's much better now. I have bought a new mic and it should be all good. So sorry for the issues before, it was just embarrassing to make a video, but I wanted to get something out for you, so yeah, let's just get into the video so I can show this cool tweak from macOS. This tweak is called CDoc2. Uh, it's essentially a um, like ultimate in all-in-one tweak for for the dock in in Mac. Like if you know what Spring to is from iOS is, this is kind of the same thing, but for the dock uh, for Mac OS. So you may not see this right now, but I currently have it running. Like it's it's in effect right now. I have my settings set up and uh, yeah, it's, it's very subtle, but it's still there. If you take a look at these indicators, right under the icons, they're dark. I made it dark because I don't like the obnoxious uh, light indicators in macOS. It just feels out of place. So I changed it and now it looks kind of cool, in my opinion at least. Uh, and the separator, it's much more subtle and uh, just looks generally cleaner. Uh, according to my taste. So let's just get right into it. C doc, there we go. Uh, this is the settings page. Uh, as you can see, I have some settings set up, just like I said. Uh, I don't have like the mo more advanced settings because I like to keep my devices stock mostly, and just some small modifications. But I can walk you through what we have here. So, oh, thank you. I probably should like. Disable this. Yes. Uh, excuse me for that. So, theme. Let's start with theme. I can set this to none. It's like, I have literally no theme. Well, not, not, not even the system theme. There's no theme at all. Uh, this isn't really that interesting. Kind of boring, in my opinion. But depending on the setup, this may look cool. Uh, but disabling the theme actually makes the dock so much smoother. Uh, I mean, I have a MacBook Air, so... It's not that powerful, you, that, that may be why I see some animation lag sometimes, but usually it's pretty d cool, but this makes it all so much smoother, like, look at this smooth animation, it's just so good. So going to the next theme, it's clean, 3D, um, I believe this theme is broken, uh, I gotta warn you before, like, watch any further, this tweak is pretty broken, it hasn't been updated in 6 months I believe, so... It is pretty broken, but I'm currently running Sierra, uh, not High Sierra, just Sierra. So that might be why, if you're running El Capitan, which I do not recommend, but if you do, it may work better for you. Uh, but it's been working pretty okay for me. It does have the settings I want. It does have quite a lot of settings that work, so I walk you through them anyways. Uh, so this theme may be broken. I'm not entirely sure, as you can see, the dark reflections uh, are kind of broken, I believe, because they only work with uh, icons that are active right now and running. This is unfortunate, but as I don't like, I don't like reflections. This doesn't bother me too much. We have free light, which is kind of the uh, old Ma Mavericks style dark. Uh, I believe you can change it to dark. No, you can't, unfortunately. Uh, there's no setting to change a color of it. But yeah, if you want it, you have to keep it light. Uh, oh, we have the night theme. My bad. <laughs> uh, th those are f two themes, which is weird. What happens if I put it to light? Yeah, only the indicators change. Um, so that's the system. Then we have 10.4 and... No, my dock crashed, but yeah, it's back up. Uh, you have this option to restart it if you need it. Uh, we have this like classic 10.4 style dock, which I feel very nostalgic about, but it's not really current anymore. I I like to keep my things updated, so uh, it is nostalgic, but we gotta move on. So the same goes for this theme, which is 10.8. It looks very, very convincing, at least in my opinion. Uh, 
we have default, which is what I use. It's just the system theme. Uh, this one is customized by me, so it's a little different than the system theme, but it's still pretty cool. Then we have Indigenous Choice, which is uh, uh, it's a pretty cool uh, theme in my opinion. It it changes a lot of the colors and just makes the oops, it makes the whole uh, dock full screen, uh, which is exactly this theme, which I will show you in a second. So fancy, fancy is like this more skeuomorphic type of theme. Uh, it's it's a little more laggy because it has has more effects, as you can see here. Uh, it the animation is just choppy. Uh, you can change it. Uh, it's it's an animation I have set in Mac uh, system preferences, dock and uh, magnification. There you go. Now you won't see that it lags, but I like to keep magnification on. Just I don't know. I like it. So yeah, it's it's a little choppy. Uh, full screen is one of my favorites as well. Looks like this. Let me just restart the dock to have it fresh. There we go. This is what it looks like. It's look at this. It's so so smooth and and so nice and and it's full screen. It looks pretty good. Look at this. I can yeah. It's all blurred. Looks pretty great. Uh, Hello world. It's it's a very weird theme. It's some like Matrix kind of style theme because of green and black, and it's kind of scaromorphic as well. Uh, not my favorite, to be honest. Then we have picture, which I have, I have no idea. Don't even ask. No, I have no idea. Uh, we have pink. This is pretty dope. Like if you have, if your sister has a Mac or whatever, you want to like customize it, make it um, suit him all. This may be the theme for you. Like it, it looks. It looks great, like, this, this is something Apple should include in, in the system. We have a light theme, dark theme, and maybe a pink theme. Um, yeah, so, transparent is exactly what you imagine. It's transparent. Pretty boring. Uh, so, it'll, I like to keep it at default. Uh, let's just restart this. There we go. So, uh, use image for dark background. I don't believe this should be on right now. No, it shouldn't. It's a bug. Yeah, it's, my dog is still perfect. So, uh, we have color dock background. You can change the color. Yeah, this looks pretty dope. Yeah, th this is pretty cool. Uh, but I like to keep it dark. Maybe, maybe I change like a darker shade or maybe a lighter shade. Nah, I keep it stock. So, uh, we have the use image for dark background. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where you should place the image because there is no upload or add or open button here. But yeah, it, it, there's a setting for it. Uh, so color dark border. This one is pretty cool. If you like, have a background like me which blends in with dark a little, uh, you can change change it to like, like this. Uh, I'll keep this pretty dark but still visible. Here we go. This looks pretty. This looks pretty good, at least in my opinion. Uh, we have color sep separator layer. I have this on already. I have my settings here. Let's just change it to 20 because my OCD kicks in. Uh, and as you can see, this dock is more subtle, just like I said before. Full width separate. Full, full width separator. This is also something I've enabled usually because this this separator. Let's let's make this a little darker so we can see. Here's the separator. It's it's shorter now, and if I enable it, it just fills in with the whole dock, and looks a lot cleaner, in my opinion. Uh, so, and show separator layer. Yeah, you can hide it all together if you want. Color icon label background. You can change the color of this background. I probably set it to something lighter because it's usually not that visible when I. Uh, when I hover it over my background, so I keep it lighter and color indicator lights. This, this is what I was talking about. Like, I don't like how this looks. It just looks pretty messy in my opinion. So I keep it. Oh, I keep keep it like this. Oh, what did I do now? Yeah, I screwed up. There we go. I missed the setting. Yeah, I did. Um. So this setting is like if you want a sh shadow, which I may 
want. Yeah, the shadow looks pretty good. Let's just make it more uh, transparent. Like, you can make it very, very noticeable. Or you can make it like this, which, like this. This looks good, in my opinion. This looks very good. Like, gives you the depth. I know, I know flat theme, flat themes are uh, popular right now, but shadows are always and will always be my favorite. Shadows are super cool, so I keep my shadows on. So, is image for application indicators. This is yet another, like, I don't know where to set this setting, because there is no open button to, like, upload your own image, so you just gotta find out that on your own. And we have show frost layer. This just makes the dark, like, kinda uh, transparent, just disables this frost layer, which is the, this, yeah, this is the frost layer. Boom. So, show glass layer, this is, this setting's broken. It just doesn't do anything. Uh, full screen with dark. There we go, it's full screen. Boom. It even has this nice animation when you resize it. Like, it just doesn't pop into the, the screen, it just, yeah, this is cool. So, dark background image is 3D. Uh, this is broken as well. It, it It's just broken, it doesn't do anything. Uh, you can, I believe you can set this from here. Uh, it should work if you set it, set it from there. Uh, show icon reflections. This is also broken because it doesn't show the uh, inactive apps uh, reflections. So I keep this off. Show icon labels. Uh, this is this label, which usually shows up here. You can disable that. Darken icons and mouse over. I like this on. I like to keep this on because gives me that uh, feedback when I hover over an icon, like this, now it's off, so it's it, it just doesn't uh, show you that you're hovering over it, except for magnification and the uh, labels, which I have enabled as well. Um, so when you darken these icons, it just feels so much better, like look at this. Yeah, you, you can clearly see you are hovering above this icon right now. Uh, Resize standard indicators. You can just change the size and uh, uh, of the indicators, make them bigger, smaller, whatever. I just keep this stock. And that's most of the theming uh, settings. You can change the dock settings as well. Uh, you can change the icon size, and most of these settings are already available in the default, default settings app, but they are not as fine-tuned, so you can change this exactly the way you want it. You can have it exactly uh, to fit your needs and uh, suit your setup. I keep this the way it is, I don't want to screw this up, so I don't play around with it. Uh, pre preferences, it's the application preferences setting. I'll recommend to change one thing straight off when you install this. Change up the interval to like daily, weekly, monthly because it's the, by default an hourly and this could kill your battery. At least from my perspective, I believe this does like impact your battery but I haven't really tested so I can't like back this up with facts. And about. So CDOC 2, copyright 2015-2016, as I said this was updated like six months ago. Uh, the copyright date was not updated six months ago as you can see. Uh, but yeah, that's probably it. Uh, you can also donate to the uh, application by clicking that link. Wolfgang uh, Beard. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Wolfgang Beard. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and donate like uh, a nice amount to uh, the developer to like keep this updated. No, okay. I probably shouldn't donate that much. But yeah. This is this is it. This is CDoc2 for macOS, and uh, I really hope you like this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. The links to download this is obviously uh, in the description, so you can just click on there and install all of this and set it up. Uh, as this is powered by SIMBL, this does require a plugin for macOS, but I believe this installs the the plugin by default. Like you don't have to download anything separately. Uh, to install this. If you do, uh, the link to my SIMBL will be also in the description. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.